Wasn't it just a month ago when we said that borderless mid-range smartphones weren't a thing? Well now, they are. And the selfie expert, Oppo, has their own challenger. This is our Oppo F5 hands-on. The F5 is Oppo's newest smartphone, and it's the first to sport the new borderless form factor. It replaces the Oppo F3 and the F1S before that, and is still positioned as the selfie expert smartphone. Compared to its predecessors, the F5 is roughly the same size, just slightly taller, but it manages to fit in a bigger display, 6 inches instead of 5.5. This new near borderless design gives it the now becoming standard 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Like many borderless phones of 2017, it's still not completely edge to edge. There's still space up top for the selfie camera and a small chin down below. The fingerprint sensor has been moved to the back of the phone with a pretty unconventional oval shape. On the left, volume rocker on the right hand side of the device, a power button, and a dual nano SIM card and micro SD card tray. On the bottom of the phone, there's a headphone jack, microphone, micro USB port, and speaker grills. The F5 comes less than six months after the launch of the Oppo F3, and we see this as a reaction to the industry moving in the direction of this new edge-to-edge -edge form factor. The F5 shows that Oppo is ready to compete in this space. We would have loved to see them bring things like water resistance or USB-C to this price point. Overall, this phone is a good size. It's lighter than we expected, not so much rounded or curved, more flat. While the fingerprint sensor lives on, Oppo has added facial recognition in hopes that this becomes your new default security system. To set it up, go into settings, fingerprint, face, and passcode, and then face. Unlock times are quick, it works even with minimal lighting, and if you try unlocking with your eyes closed, it still works. We have a feeling the fingerprint sensor might still be the more secure option, also the quicker one. The Oppo F5 runs on the latest MediaTek mid-range processor, which on paper is faster than the F3, and equivalent to the Snapdragon 450 processor, which powers its closest rival, the Vivo V7 Plus. Our review unit is only an engineering sample, so we'll make sure to let you know what this means in real life once we have a retail review unit in hand. Apart from the bump in processing power, storage, memory, and battery capacity remain unchanged. If it isn't obvious, the F5 is all about its new display, intended to give users a different kind of content consumption experience. The new aspect ratio is great when you're reading articles on your phone. It's perfect for multitasking, particularly running two apps in one window. If you like taking photos, the camera app has full screen mode, so the viewfinder takes up the whole display, which makes it easier to compose your shots. Selfie shooters in particular will appreciate this. Let us show you. This is how a standard 4x3 selfie looks like. And this is how the new 18x9 full screen selfie looks like. Snap, Instagram story ready. Speaking of cameras, the Oppo F5 has a 16 megapixel main camera, just one camera in case you're curious. There's also a dedicated 2x button. Just for convenience, it does not mean optical zoom. We took the phone out and about, and this is what photos look like. Colors pop, especially on close-up shots like these. Although it doesn't bring out the blue and sky so much even on a beautiful day like this. Low-light photos are also pretty good. Of course, because this is supposed to be a selfie expert, the selfie camera is the star. But what sets the selfie camera of the F5 apart, according to Oppo, is AI. With this technology, face detection and portrait mode are supposed to be better. Oppo claims it helps you achieve that bokeh effect even without a second camera. Check out these selfies. Compared to the F3, which has software-enabled blur mode, the cutouts look much better on the F5. Although like most phones that have portrait mode, when you're against a busy background like trees for example, cutouts are still imperfect. And even when you feel like you don't need beauty mode, there's still an option to blur your background. I personally prefer this mode. 
Auto on beauty mode removes blemishes without blurring, so selfies look more natural. The AI technology on the selfie cam also supposedly helps the camera determine how much beautification subjects require. The Oppo F5 runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat out of the box. Considering its launch date, it's a bit disappointing that it doesn't ship with Android Oreo just yet. My favorite feature is Night Shield that allows you to adjust the phone's color temperature for more comfortable browsing. You can also invert the colors for nighttime reading. Split screen mode has been made easier. To turn it on, just tap on this toggle button, hold down the multitasking button, and select another app for split screen. So, is the Oppo F5 your gadget match. We'll hold off giving any recommendations until we're done with our review and Isa is busy working on that. But I think more importantly, what we want to know is how this phone fares against the Vivo V7 Plus and the Huawei Nova 2i. We'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison really soon as well. To make sure you don't miss any of those videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.